what occurs when people start blending biology and technology. It is the capability to reprogram life itself, anticipate the emergence of human organ cultivation facilities, governmental utilization of synthetic wombs for population recovery, robots featuring biological components, the advent of genetically modified individuals with the ability to heal through physical contact, and numerous other developments. In the realm of biotechnology, we find ourselves at the forefront of a transformative era. As humans manipulate life itself, they become a disruptive force in the environment, raising questions about their role as invasive species. This journey into bioengineering unveils the potential for humans to evolve into a new, less human, and more alien species, shifting from mere observers of nature to its masters. This represents the next phase in human evolution, and it commences with the groundbreaking field of bioprinting. Bioprinting, reminiscent of an alchemist's dream, diverges from traditional 3D or 4D printing by using living cells known as bioinks to create biological structures layer by layer. This technology brings inanimate objects to life, opening up a world of possibilities. At its core, bioprinting finds applications in crafting artificial corneas, addressing hair loss, expediting combat wound healing, and personal cosmetic testing. Looking forward, it enables advanced innovations, from 3D printed coral reefs that revive marine ecosystems to miniature robotic space stations that excel in microgravity environments. In the field of medicine, bioprinting revolutionizes organ transplantation, allowing for the creation of organs in specialized farms and testing of medical responses through miniature organoids. Additionally, bioprinting results in prosthetic limbs customized to individuals and integrate electronics into bioprinted components, yielding cybernetic organs surpassing natural ones. This presents exciting possibilities, such as bioprinted lungs with sensors and nanofilters for purified air and bionic eyeballs with enhanced vision capabilities, with some users even reporting paranormal visions. In a captivating narrative, a former archaeologist regains his sight through a bionic cornea transplant, embarking on a quest to rewrite history as he experiences paranormal visions. On the other side of the world, scientists employ bioprinting to create disease-resistant skin in response to a flesh-eating disease outbreak, raising profound questions about the nature of humanity. Bioprinting also finds its way into the realm of living architecture, where buildings are constructed using bioengineered materials capable of self-repair, air purification, pollutant absorption, and even reproduction, representing an exciting convergence of nature and technology in the construction industry. These cutting-edge structures incorporate gecko-inspired adhesives for enhanced stability and use eco-concrete inspired by coral reefs for eco-friendliness. What's more, some of these modern buildings are powered by biological batteries that harness components like bacteria to both store and generate energy. Amidst the wonders of bioengineered buildings, concerns arise regarding forced obsolescence. Some companies manipulate biomaterials to decay after a set time, pressuring customers into recurring replacements. In luxury apartments within these biostructures, living works of bioart grace the walls, crafted by artists using living tissue and bioprinting techniques. Coastal city bio-apartments near the ocean employ living sea walls made of genetically engineered corals and mussels. These living barriers not only grow and self-repair, but also shield the cities from rising sea levels and storm surges. Additionally, bioluminescent lights, plants, bacteria, and algae replace traditional streetlights, offering a sustainable and captivating alternative by glowing in the dark like deep sea creatures. However, in a quiet town illuminated by bioluminescent lamps that purify the air and light the streets, an unexpected decline in these organisms plunges the community into darkness. Botanists and engineers must solve the mystery behind this neon bloom's disappearance and restore light to the town, amidst rumors that the lights have been biohacked to release harmful pollutants. In another scenario, a robotics company introduces a robot with bioluminescent skin which guides museum visitors through exhibitions, sparking contemplation about integrating such technology into human skin. In the clandestine underground world of biohackers and cyberpunks, individuals defy government regulations to experiment on their own bodies, implanting microchips 
adorning themselves with digital inks, and constructing biocomputers from living neural tissue, all while pushing the boundaries of neural experiences. These renegades delve into their DNA as a storage medium and engineer remarkable substances, such as grapes that ferment into wine in mere minutes and unregulated, pest-resistant, allergy-free foods. The most buzzed about innovations are self-replenishing food containers made of living organisms that regenerate their contents endlessly, creating an unending supply of microfoods. In the shadows, cryonics punks venture to freeze bodies with the hope of future revival, while biohackers extend their experiments to genetically engineered bioluminescent pets. Rumors also abound about the creation of chimeric animals, invoking the mythological creature with blended genes from various species, as this subculture continuously pushes the boundaries where science and imagination converge. Out in the real world, corporations are making older bionic prosthetic models obsolete, forcing users to upgrade or raising the question, who owns the limbs, the people or the corporations? These bioprinted prosthetic limbs fully integrate with the body's nervous system, providing a sense of touch and more natural control. Militaries have voluntary amputations. Governments use bionic limbs to create super soldiers. A young boy paralyzed in an accident learns to walk again with the help of a bioexoskeleton. Every bionic prosthetic and bioexoskeleton comes with a registration tracking number. In government-controlled labs, scientists are testing advanced artificial womb technology. This includes pod devices designed for more reliable external pregnancy and gestation, a process known as ectogenesis. In a world plagued by infertility, artificial wombs have become humanity's hope-wealthy individuals outsource childbirth to large wound farms. Governments facing population collapse have their own farms too, and conspiracies circulate a dictator obsessed with his legacy using artificial wombs to create numerous offspring, aiming to rule eternally and become an immortal dictator. Other fields that use artificial womb technology include space colonization, military use, and endangered species revival. And there are experiments being carried out in the field of extended gestation, where a body is left in the artificial womb for a longer period of time to enhance natural cognitive and physical capabilities. The next multi-trillion dollar industry is in biohybrid robots, these are robots that are made with biological tissue, providing more flexibility and energy efficiency. One corporation is developing biomimetic robots that can blend in and camouflage with nature and even interact with animals. The corporation says that these bio-robots are for environmental monitoring or biological research, but there is a concern that they will unintentionally become an invasive species, disrupting ecosystems leading to the extinction of native animals while others worry that the biohybrid robots can be used for espionage and spying, such as drones or robots that mimic a bird so well that another bird is not able to tell that it's a machine. These types of robots can be used to breach sovereignty, where governments deploy invasive biohybrid animals to infiltrate and undermine the autonomy of other nations. While advanced biohybrid robots become capable of rapidly producing harmful bacteria and viruses, after a nuclear scaled by a waste catastrophe, Biohybrid robots immune to radiation are humanity's best chance at survival. They scavenge resources, rescue survivors, and clean up biohazard waste. The first biorobot becomes a restorer of extinct animals carrying DNA and birthing lost species. These are the neo humans, real life X Men, people, mostly biohackers who are no longer considered human. They represent an entirely new species. After winning a bio lottery, this is the first person to become a human insect repellent. He and Hale sold an engineered virus that delivered the CRISPR components and targeted gene sequences into his skin cells and sweat glands where pheromones are now produced that repel local disease carrying insects. A singer has her vocal cords and resonating chambers bioengineered to produce an unhuman range of sounds, turning her into a living musical instrument. A biohacker becomes a living canvas using biofabricated skin pigments that change in response to light temperature and mood, displaying moving images and art. People are able to grow food on their own bodies, and marine biohackers are hacking their own bodies with genes from marine animals, creating bioluminescence and gill like enhancements to breathe underwater. There is a new age wolverine who is resistant to bone fractures, thanks to bioengineered collagen enhancements. 
and he is capable of rapid regeneration with human tissues that are engineered from reptiles and heal at an accelerated rate. People are bioengineering themselves to age backwards by manipulating telomeres and cell regeneration. A person claims to have the ability of splitting their consciousness by using organic brain augmentations to perform multitasking on an unprecedented level. And the first person is capable of healing others through touch by transferring regenerative cells. Biotechnology is the drafting table where nature's blueprint meets human design. It is the recoding of life itself. This is the next phase in humanity's evolution, 